we are here with a former national swimmer that swam for the U.S. named Carrie Hen. Thanks for joining us, Carrie. Thank you for having me. What age did you start swimming? I started swimming actually when I was 14 years old, so I was a little bit later than most. And I'm from Fargo, North Dakota, so it's the frozen tundra. So swimming wasn't on my radar as much as it is out here in California. What inspired you to swim? Well, I was always really athletic and my brother actually swam before I did. And so I broke my wrist running track and I had to go every day and watch him swim. And I'm super competitive. So um, one time I was like, well, I can beat him. And I always love the water. What was your favorite stroke? So I'm a breaststroker. So my favorite stroke was a 100 and 200 breaststroke. It came really naturally to me. So if you were to throw me into water, I would just naturally do a breaststroke kick. (laughs) Yeah, same as me. Um, What was your best stroke when you were swimming? So the 200 breaststroke was definitely, throughout my career, my best stroke. Um, The 100 was something that kind of came and went. So I always had to work on my 100 breaststroke and the speed of my 100 breaststroke to make sure that I was taking out my 200 breaststroke fast. When did you know you were ready for swimming in college? I think the summer between my sophomore and junior year is when I really started to think about, I really like swimming. And, you know, I kept getting faster. I made my Olympic trial cut. And so then knowing that I was able to be recruited July 1st of my junior year, I started to really think about colleges and swimming in college. I knew that I had a lot, I could be a lot faster. And so I just thought being in a college program and swimming in the NCAA was really going to set me up and allow me to get a great education and swim fast. How many hours did you practice when you are doing your swimming career? The most I ever practiced was 11 workouts a week. And so that was two hours in the morning, two hours up the afternoon. My only days off were Wednesday morning, Saturday afternoon, and Sunday. So 11 workouts. Oh my God, that's a lot of workouts. No. What was a meaningful experience you take away from swimming? You know, I think being able to travel with Team USA internationally was a great experience. Being able to go represent our country in another country. So I was able to go to Korea for the World University Games. I went to Brazil for the Pan American Games. I went to Italy, Rome for the World Championships. And so being able to travel internationally was really, really exciting. They say that swimmers need to be mentally strong in the water. Why is that? Well, we put in a lot of hours. It's not a game. We have to stare at a black line and go back and forth. We have to get up when it's really, really early and swim when it's cold outside. And so a lot of that is mental, right? It's hard to just stay in your own lane and focus on yourself. You always worry about your competitor, right? That takes a lot of mental strength to just believe in yourself, stay in your lane and, um, and take a chance. How can you become stronger mentally? I think believing in yourself, making sure that in practice, you're practicing perfect. So if you do your flip turns and you touch the wall with two hands, by the time you get to a swim meet, you've practiced it so many times that you should be really confident and mentally strong going into your race. If you mess around in practice and, you know, instead of doing flip turns, you touch the wall and turn around or you don't do a great streamline off the wall, you're not going to have a lot of confidence going into a swim meet that it's all going to magically come together. Make sure that in practice, you're building that mental strength so that when you get to a swim meet, you're like, I've done this before. I'm ready. And you should especially try to become 1% better per practice. You should. And that even when I was ending my swimming career, you know, I had been swimming for 18 years at that point. I still went to practice every day trying to be just a little bit better. How has swimming changed over the past 10 to 20 years? I think that the the style of training from doing a lot of distance swimming to more specific fast training has helped. I think nutrition, there's a better focus on what we eat. Food equals mood. So I always say if you eat like crap, you feel like crap, right? Your sleep 
So a lot of swimmers are focusing on their recovery, all of the things that they're doing outside of the pool to make sure that they're ready to practice or they're best at practice. So those things have changed over time. And that's why you keep swimming, seeing swimmers swimming faster is because they're focusing more on recovery and their nutrition, making sure that they're ready to go fast to the swim meet. What advice do you have for a younger version of yourself? To make sure I'm having fun and that I'm listening to my coaches. One of the things is when you're at a swim meet that you're cheering for your friends as that positive energy can help you swim fast. And so I think to my younger self, believe in myself and believe that I can do whatever I put my mind to. What was your favorite celebration after a big meet? You know, one of my favorite meets was in Brazil. Have you ever seen a soccer game in Brazil? Yeah. Where the crowd goes crazy, and they're dressed up, and there's music going. So at the Pan American Games, before all of our races, they had a DJ on deck. They had, you know, balloons going in the stands. And um, I broke the Pan American record at that meet. And everybody was cheering, and there was bullhorns going off. And it was one of the best feelings to touch the wall and to hear the crowd erupt. And I had broken, like, a 20-year record. Oh my god. Oh, and so it was really fun to to experience that. That must seem like fun, especially these Brazilians love to like take things to another level and stuff. They do. And I think that's a note that all Americans can take is that, you know, that crowd really gets people going and I think that makes people swim faster. Thank you so much for joining us today, Carrie. Thank you for having me and good luck with swimming. Thank you.